All right, everyone. So today I wanted to share with you guys an important warning about pack offers in Raid Shadow Legends. And this is something that I've really learned a lot more over the last couple of months, ever since I stopped spending money on the game. And just to give you guys a bit of a backstory here, I have been playing the game for almost a year and a half. And out of that 18 months, I want to say about 12 to 15 of those months, I've been a pretty moderate spender. Now, I'm not the absolute biggest whale, but for a mobile game, I've spent an average of about $150 per per month throughout that over year or so. So, you know, you're looking at around $2,000 on Raid Shadow Legends. And really looking back at it, that's quite a bit for a mobile game, but that's not even really that high in comparison to some of the game's biggest spenders. And Plarium does a very, very good job of doing absolutely everything they can to get you to spend money. And that includes this illusion of making packs seem like they way they are way better than they actually are. And I wanna throw you guys an example here that I was shown just the other day with one of these summoning events showing up. And I almost fell for this one right here after so many months i almost got tricked into thinking man this is actually a really good deal maybe today is going to be the day that i break my strike maybe today is going to be the day after several months of not spending money i'm finally going to buy something but then i realized polarium knows what they are doing this is all part of their plan and in the end it doesn't matter whether you buy a million sacred shards or whether you buy 10 gems it makes no difference to plarium it's just pixels in the end and the only thing that does matter is either purchase they've now gotten your money so i want to show you guys this because this is something that actually is going to progressively get worse if you guys are either a a free-to-play player and you have not made a single purchase in the game Polarium's game plan is going to be to do whatever it takes to get your first purchase. And that's super important because there is a major barrier between a non-spending player and a spending player. Even if your first purchase is only $1.00 that doesn't matter. You've now broken that barrier between being a free-to-play player and a pay-to-play player, and Plarium knows that after they've broken that barrier with you, you are going to be much more likely to buy more stuff in the future. So A, their number one goal is to convert free-to-play players, people who haven't bought anything, to just buying something. And that also, importantly, gets your payment info on file. It puts it out there. It makes it easier for you to buy stuff in the future. Maybe you don't spend a lot of money on apps and the first time you have to put in your payment info. But once it's there, it just becomes so much easier, both physically going throughout the process of actually purchasing a pack and then mentally conquering that hurdle of being a free-to-play player, transitioning to a pay-to-play player. They know you are so much more likely to buy more stuff in the future. Now, number two is if you are a spending player and then all of a sudden you are now spending less money on the game or like me, you are not spending any more money on the game, Plarium is going to do whatever they can to get you to go back to being a spending player. And throughout both of these examples here, A and B, whether you're completely free to play or whether you've gone from spending to not spending anymore, they utilize the same tactic. And this is the tactic that I think a lot of you guys probably know or have heard of as price anchoring. And I want to explain to you guys why this is all mind games here. And in the end, you want to be very aware that you are spending real money on a game. And it doesn't matter whether this illusion of you feeling like you got an insane amount of value or not much value. It doesn't really matter in the end because to Plarium, it's all the same. It doesn't cost them any more money to sell you a hundred sacred shards versus selling you one sacred shard. It's still the same to them. And just to throw you guys an example, this is what I saw in the store the other day. This was almost the camel that broke the, I don't, I don't know the saying, I don't know the saying off the top of my head, the straw that broke the camel's back. There, there it is. That's the right saying right there. I saw this and I was like, wow, this is pretty good. You know, you've got four sacred shards and it's very rare for you to see four sacred shards in a pack offer a million silver, and on top of that, 450 gems for $50. Maybe this will be the one that I now break my streak of going from free to play after several months of being free to play to finally going back to a spending player. But then I also saw this pack at the exact same time. And this is actually the one that I saw first, I believe. And it's no coincidence that Plarium has both of these packs here 
at the same time and take a look at this one right here you've got one sacred shard and 100 gems for 29.99 and then you've got this one right here which is the one that i was tempted to buy four sacred shards a million silver and 450 gems for 49.99 so this one right here the 50 dollars one is not even twice as expensive as the 30 dollars one but it has four times as many sacred shards now you might be thinking, a first question, a lot of new people to raid or a lot of people who have not played mobile games are going to ask themselves this common question. And Plarium actually wants you to think this question right here. Their goal is not to get you to buy this pack. Plarium putting this pack up for sale, their goal is to get you to ask this question, not to buy the pack. And the question is, why is this so expensive? This is so absurd. Who in the world would ever buy this? Why would anyone buy one sacred shard and 100 gems for $30? And if you ask yourself that question, Plarium has now achieved their goal. Their goal by putting this pack up in the store was never to actually get you to buy the pack. It's just to ask you that question. Now, why? Why is that so important? Why does Plarium want you thinking that? Because now, when they put up this pack right here, you fall for the almost the exact same trick that I fell for after being free to play for you know three months or so. And now, you could see that with this pack, because you asked yourself that question, why would anybody ever spend $30 for a single sacred shard and 100 gems when they put this pack up for sale? This one now looks so, so much better. You feel like you are getting so much more value. And because you're getting four times as many sacred shards, silver and gems for less than half the price of this so-called terrible pack, it now convinces a lot of people because they feel like they are getting so much more value to now make the purchase and buy this pack. So Polarium's goal was never to get people to really buy this one right here. It was just to get yourself to ask that question. And now when they put this pack up, this is the one that they actually want to sell. This is a strategy called price anchoring, and it's a mental strategy where it's mind games. They are putting all of these packs up and getting you accustomed to thinking of these virtual items having a value. And when you do so and they put up the bad packs, what that does is they know they're never going to sell those packs uh, ever. It's, I mean, maybe the mega whales, people who don't care about money at all, but they know that 99% of people, even spending players, they're never going to buy those packs. That's fine. All that does is get you in your minds to think that other packs, when they put them up for sale, are much better value, and then you buy those packs. Now, think of it this way. If Polarium never had these $30 for one sacred shard, this pack never existed, kind of get it out of your head. Um, any idea of how much you feel like a sacred shard is worth, get that out of your head right there. And they never put out these bad value packs. And now all of a sudden, they only put up this one right here. Well, a lot of people are going to think to themselves, wow, $50 for four sacred shards, that's a horrible, horrible deal. Who would ever spend $50 for four single items and four single shards? They would make way less sales on this pack without the bad one. And now, because they didn't even make any sales on the $30 one, they've still 100% achieved their goal. Now, I wanna wrap back around to my original point here, and this is kind of what got me to think, uh, this is what I, I went back and I almost fell for this. I almost fell for this trick here. And in the end, you really have to think to yourself, these are all virtual items. It does not cost Plarium any difference whether they sell you this pack right here for $50 that has four sacred shards, or whether they sell you this pack right here, which has one sacred shard, for, uh, uh, and 100 gems for $30. In fact, even though this one feels like it's better value, they'd much rather get you to buy the expensive one because in the end, it's all pixels, it's all virtual items, and now they've gotten 50 of your dollars for basically nothing instead of only 30 of your dollars. So, you know, it, it doesn't make any difference at all. It's all the same in the end, and either way, you're still giving your money to Plarium. And, you know, if you enjoy the game and you, you guys like that, that's totally fine not saying you should not spend at all you guys are welcome to do with your money as you want to i've never been the kind of person to tell you how to spend your money all i'm trying to say here is 
be careful with the mind games and falling for the illusion because once you fall for this illusion of price anchoring and value, whenever a really good pack pops up that feels like it's good value to you, you're gonna be extremely tempted to buy it just because of this illusion here. And you wanna be careful not to fall in that habit because that's how you slip into these habits of spending way, way more money than you can afford because Polarium's gonna know this and what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep pumping out packs once they see that you become a big spender, they're gonna keep pumping out packs that feel like they're good value to you and keep collecting your money. So as long as you can separate yourself from that, you guys are welcome to do with your money as you want to, but just be careful and know that in the end, don't spend more than you can afford on this game. That's going to be about it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope that you were able to take something away from this video. And if you guys enjoyed and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to toss a quick like as well. It really does mean more than you can imagine. So a huge thank you to all of you guys who decided to do that. Over 40,000 subscribers on the channel, over 350 raid videos, guides, tutorials, other fun discussion videos just like this. So feel free to check them out on the screen or in the suggested videos to right or below. But if not, have a great day, everyone. Take care. And until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild signing out.